Here's our old fire pit, it's still there. Pretty much everything's still intact, which is pretty, pretty insane. Look, the bench is still so sturdy. Bro, we need to take All of our firewood's still here, that's incredible. Dude, we're taking that to our new spot, <laughs> for sure. No, this stays, dude, this is like a memory. Crazy. <laughs> Is that it? That's it. Well, we don't have a choice. Keep going. Detour. <laughs> oh, shoot. <laughs> Dude, this is some real bushwhacking. <clears throat> Such a beautiful forest. So green and lots of ferns. Nice. Okay, Alright, we'll do it there then. Perfect. Yeah, just like a smoke. Oh, that's exactly what we need. Watch well, out. We don't even need a fire, we just need smoke. That's it. Cedar deer, so sure. Oh, no, no, it's fine. I'll just break it off. Like so guys, what I'm doing now is actually clearing the whole ground so that Mark does have like sources of irritation during the night. And it's also nice so the fire doesn't spread. Have still in. Got the fire going guys, look at this. So nice. And who do we want to give a shout out to? Rick from Virginia, dude. And why? Thanks for watching, thanks for commenting. Appreciate it. Yeah, Rick, we always appreciate your comments and whoever else comments on our videos, we really appreciate it guys. Thank you so much for the support. We love what we do, and we love that you come along with us. Yes. So I thought I'd show you guys these mushrooms. They literally look like chanterelles, but they're white. And they're growing on this tree stump right here. I don't know what this is, but it's pretty crazy. Okay, so I'm gonna get some of this fern for my bed. And you gotta be careful when you get this stuff because there's a lot of spider webs and stuff. So I try to make sure that the fern is mostly clean. Then I grab it like this. Boom. And we're gonna gather some up, put it down, and it's gonna make a really soft bed. Perfect. So I'm making some, uh, I don't even know what to call these things. Basically my mom made them and she put meat inside, wrapped it in a tortilla, and I'm just frying it up. Should be pretty darn good. Stuff is really good. So yeah, we're just hanging out. So here we have some garlic bread. We're gonna fry it up. One for me, one for Alex. Oh yeah. Except this one kinda came apart wrong, but it's okay. We'll share. That's enough coals. So just plop it on. And give it another five minutes. We'll be chowing down on garlic bread. And then meanwhile, I'm just chilling with this thing. That, that, that's, that's, you know. Yeah, it's just the process. Oh, is that your marshmallow? I have to take off all the moss. It's pretty darn good. Fire's out. Alex is in his hammock. He has a summer underquilt on that he made. He actually has Velcro on the sides, which is really cool, I think. So basically what Alex does is he puts that Velcro onto this underquilt and it sticks, kind of holds it itself in place there. And I just have my sleeping pad, sleeping bag, and that's it. We'll see you guys in the morning. Well, good morning guys, <laughs> just kidding. So we went to sleep and it started raining as you can hear. 
So we're gonna put the tarp up because we don't want to get wet while we sleep. Rain is picking up a little bit more, but not a problem. Only problem is I kind of forgot any kind of syrup or something to eat it with, but thank goodness Alex got Nutella. So we'll have pancakes with Nutella for breakfast. Alex! Kidnap? Hmm? Hmm? Stavai, you know what time it is? 9.30. Mm hmm Just kidding. It's 8.57. Okay. Hey! Stavai, Stavai. Even if it was 9.30, I still wouldn't be scared. Well, I've never had a Nutella pancake sandwich, but it's pretty good. Just look how beautiful this forest is. We've got all this salal down here. Look at this stuff. Let's have some for breakfast right now. Let's do that. I'm gonna pre focus. All right, let's get one. Wow, that's good. So, I'm gonna get some of this. Kind of hard to do with one one hand as I'm vlogging, but pretty much just grabbing some of this moss off the tree. I'll show you what for. So we have it right here. And then we have our dirty pan, as you can see. I'll grab this moss. You literally just do it like that once. Fold it, do it one more time. Boom, look at that. So this is how we filter water at the campsite, guys. Check this out. We have the Bee Free. We put some water into a garbage bag because we didn't take enough bottles. And then we made a hole in the garbage bag, so we just fill the water from the lake up into that thing. Look at that flow rate. It's insane. So we're packed up, ready to go, and the worst part is that 
This whole forest is drenched right now. And we have to walk through the thick of that stuff. <laughs> Dang it! <laughs> I gotta get this down though. <laughs> Put your back into it. <laughs> Alright, so we are now going to check our crawfish trap, see what we got. Oh, we got one. Nuh uh. Yeah, we got one. That's nice. How about the other trap? Empty. So that trap had a crawdad, and this one has two fish in it. Pretty cool.